Hey, so for this video, I'd like to talk about a somewhat of an old question that goes like this. How come people like using a or BIM for code projects instead of IDEs? And the easy answer to that is, uh, you know, both Emacs and BIM are really extensible, so you can add those extra functionalities if you really want to. So for this video, I'm going to talk about code completion. Now, code completion, you have at least two uh, main ways to do it in Emacs. One of them is AC, which stands for autocomplete, and company mode, which I think it stands for complete anything. Now, I personally like using uh, company mode. It's worked great for me so far. So the default configuration is like this. You first need to type in three characters. And as soon as you do it, uh, company mode is going to generate uh, I mean, it's going to get that candidate list and it's going to create a dialogue window and it's going to, you know, fill it with those candidates. You can, you can go through that list with meta N and meta P. And at the bottom of the screen, you can look right away that it's giving you, you know, uh, some extra uh, information. For instance, this function, I know that it's going to return a pointer to an SDL surface. So, I mean, it's going to create an RGB surface. I mean, it's, I think it's straight away what the name of the function describes, but even so, if you bump into a, a, a vague uh, function name, this is going to give you more details about it. And the most important thing, in my opinion, is that it also gives you the, the arguments for this function. So let's say that I wanted to create a window. Uh, it's gonna, I mean, it, as soon as you t you hit enter, where, whatever your cursor was, it's gonna drop the whole completion with some placeholders for you to replace. Uh, you can, you know, type anything. And if I hit tab, it's gonna send you to the next, uh, you know, argument placeholder. And you can replace it with, uh, you know, whatever, whatever thing that you want. So again, really useful package whenever you're working with, uh, an external library maybe or just you know either big or small but that you don't you're not aware of all the functions that are uh, created for that specific library uh, in order to install it all you have to do I mean the way I do it uh, you can go ahead and, and go to the list of packages and you can look for company mode now I don't have it available because it's already installed uh, and one of the you know good things is that it's been long enough so that a lot of people have created uh, many backends for it already. I haven't had I mean, a reason to create my own. I mean, if I actually, may, maybe if, uh, tomorrow there is a new programming language that nobody knows about and I love it, I might actually create a new backend for it because there's an API and supposedly it's really easy to use. I'm not sure, I, I cannot test that, but that's what people like saying. Uh, but anyways, almost, I mean, if you use it, it's, I, I'm almost certain that whatever, you know, programming language that you're using, it's going to be inside of, um, you know, the, the Emacs packages in here. But anyways, hopefully this was uh, useful to you. If you actually give it a go or you have a question for me, just let me know. And, you know, thank you for watching.